What's going on guys? We are officially six and a half weeks out Pittsburgh Pro, seven and a half weeks out New York Pro, and we have probably the most requested video right now, and it's a full day of eating, so let's run it. in the world you can imagine because they didn't know it was wrong. It was terrifying. I've been depressed. I can beat my depression. Things happen for a reason. It's been a long time. All right, so I've been digging really hard this year, like really digging to a whole new level. Like it's been, it's been pretty wild to see where we're at right now. And we're finally getting fed a decent amount. Uh, not that like we've been like starving. We've still been having like six meals, a lot of protein. So it's not like we've been like starving, starving. But for me, it was like a really big push. Um, so today is a high day. Uh, you call it a cheat day if you want, kind of. But this is like a normal high day for me. When I, my body starts getting like rolling this point in prep. So I'm going to show you guys all the meals, macros, uh, every single meal. Calories at the end of the video. I know you guys say, hey, Matt, where are the calories at? I'm not going to forget the calories. Calories at the end of this video, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for the entire video. Let's show you guys meal one. All right, guys. You got two whole eggs. You guys know I like to do the um, the reduced sugar or no sugar out of ketchup, so that's why I got in there. Two whole eggs, a little bit of the no sugar out of ketchup. We have a shit ton of cream of rice here. It's about 100, what is it, 120 grams of carbs of cream of rice. It's got a little bit of berries in there, a little bit of Splenda. Um, and then of course, we have the huge supplements. Birthday cake, isolate, that's my favorite one. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're gonna get huge iso, go birthday cake. I think it's a limited type flavor, so stock up on it, but that's by far my favorite flavor right now. So we do a scoop of that in there. It's about 30 grams of protein. A little bit of Gatorade Zero. I don't really cut this out at all, really. Yeah, I mean, I don't really drink it that much in the first place, but a little bit of Gatorade Zero meal one. Cream rice, isolate, two whole eggs, high day. Meal numero uno. So, uh, can you guys see? Let me see if I can show you guys a little sneak peek. You see what's right there? Y'all know what that is. That's some 2016 match shit. That's for a pre-workout meal. Stay tuned for this full eating, guys. It'll be a good one. See you guys in the next meal. All right, guys. Meal number two coming up now. So this one's not really like a crazy fun one, but the next one will be. I promise you that. So stay tuned for that one. But we just have 200 grams of rice. I believe it's 250 grams of chicken. I got to double check that. But I believe it's 200 grams of rice, 250 grams of chicken. So good amount of protein. Carbs, pretty decent amount. There's been times in like a preps in the past where I had like 500 grams of rice in one meal. And let me tell you something about that shit. That is like, <laughs> yo, that's so much rice. It kind of like sits in your stomach. I know it's like a higher glycemic carb, but like that is a lot of rice and it just feels like it just sits there. So if you ever had that much rice, you might understand the struggle, but like that's like crazy shit. I've done that in the off season too before, but like I just switched to pasta at that point because like 500 grams of rice is just crazy, but I've done it before in prep too. And it's, it's not easy in prep or off season, but Nonetheless, we have a simple chicken and rice meal here. Next one is a fun meal because that's our pre-workout meal and, the, and then the post-workout meal. That's, that's even more fun, but yeah, guys, we're gonna get this chicken and rice meal in, some good old fashioned bro bodybuilding shit. Got that sweet chili on there. If you've been watching my videos since like 2000, I don't even know, 10, or if you've watched my videos since like 2020, 19, I don't even know when I've been using sweet chili since. Maybe it's been that long, 21? I don't know, I've been using sweet chili for like years, but you know I'm a big sweet chili fan, so, so we got the chicken and rice here, nothing too crazy sodium wise, but that's meal number two. We'll check in for the pre-workout meal, pre-workout subs, and all the goodies, so stay tuned. <laughs> This is one of the times it's actually really nice that I have a meal prep sponsor because your boy didn't cook any chicken. So I just literally pulled this out of the freezer. I poked some holes in, I put it in the microwave for like, I put it for like two and a half, three minutes and it's really good tasting chicken. So obviously I could just like, not to worry about cooking sometimes, just chill out, take a nap. So if you guys want to ever support me, get some Flex Pro meals, use code Grego, it saves 40% off. Tastes delicious, prep friendly. So it's a really no brainer there, but I'm gonna warm this up. I'm gonna show you the fun pre-workout meal we have today because it's a good one. It's a pretty big one too, so. Let me warm this up quick and then I'll show you guys the goodies. And just like that, we have our, our pre-workout meal. So we have 225 grams of chicken, uh, the Flex for meal. I think it's pronounced sous vide chicken, uh, sous vide. I don't know, don't get me shit if I say it wrong, but it's it's delicious. I think it's like where you, the water, I don't know. It, it's really good. Like I said, co grade with 40% off all Flex for meals. 225 grams of chicken, we had, we're supposed to do 200, 
grams of potato, 225 grams of potato. I gotta check. I have the right amounts here, but um, I didn't have any potatoes, so I just went with rice. I did like 160 grams of rice. I figure that's the conversion. It, it, maybe it's like a couple grams of carbs off in one way or the other. I don't really know, but I'm not too stressed about it, but I, it should be pretty spot on though. So we got chicken, rice, and then here is the fun stuff. Told you guys it was a fun one. So there, there, there are better muffin options, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, but like this is just what I went with because they had a sale and it was like, I think it was buy one package, get another package for free. So I'm like, all right, screw it. So with this, Come on, we do uh, three of these. They're little, they're little guys, they're not too big. Three of these muffins, you guys see it? Is it focusing? Blueberry muffins, little guys from uh, Publix, so. That's the meal. We got, here, I'll show you. All right, we got the chicken and rice. Got three of these muffins, we're not eating the whole pack. I, it's tempting, but I'm not gonna do it. And then, yeah, this MLA bottle's actually next level. We're gonna do a couple of these utilized caps here. This is the problem with filming yourself. You just drop shit everywhere. We'll do two. I had two at meal one. Did I even show my morning meal stops today? I didn't. Guys, we're gonna do two caps to utilize. I don't know if you can see it. Two caps to utilize by huge substance of the GDA. Do you guys see this shit? Is that better? Two caps, GDA, I'm big on GDAs. Yo, of course I wanna do a talking segment. <laughs> my mic literally dies, but one thing I wanna do is I wanna be like more transparent with my thoughts and feelings during the prep. So I'm gonna do that a little bit right now because I feel like sometimes I look back at my prep vlogs and like I didn't really talk about how I was feeling or my approach or anything. So just got done doing legs. And I feel like every time I do an intense leg day, it's like therapeutic. I kind of think about different things and clear my mind and assess about the year. And one thing I wanted to do going this year was just like really just say, fuck the money, fuck the bullshit. Just focus on being a bodybuilder, being the best bodybuilder I can be truly. And I'm really proud of myself because I've really done a good job at this year. This is the best my physique has ever looked. It's the most focused I've ever been on bodybuilding. And it hasn't been easy to kind of disregard certain things, but in terms of, uh, in terms of like my bodybuilding career, it's like skyrocketing for sure. Like it's, everything is kind of coming together right now. I'm very blessed and thankful that God's putting everything in my life together right now. And in the past I would like stress about money and like, different things and things that just really weren't relevant to like the bigger picture stuff, like short term stuff. And I feel like right now in my life, I'm very, very, very focused on the long term, the bigger picture. And I would say when I was younger, it was very easy to get wrapped up in the materialistic things and, you know, focus on this and that. But I feel like this year specifically, I really did a good job and have done a good job of just like focusing on being the best bodybuilder I can be because that is truly what sets up my career is being Matt Grego, the best bodybuilder in the world one day, hopefully. The class physique will be Mr. Olympia, that's a goal. I also think it's important that you gotta vocalize your, you don't wanna say everything that you, uh, you know, that's going on in your head, but it is okay to say that I'm coming to win Pittsburgh, I'm coming to win New York, they're two of the biggest shows. I'm coming to win them both. And I have full intention on winning them both and then coming into the Olympia as a top class physique athlete because I truly in my heart feel I can do that, so. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that because I feel like it's important as we grow as people to just not reinvent ourselves, but to just take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Sometimes when you take a step back in certain points of your life, it's to set you up for a bigger and better, beautiful life. And I feel like 2024 has been like that for me, where I took a couple steps back in other aspects of my life, you know, like maybe you sacrifice a little bit less money when you're already good and you're already doing great to achieve something beautiful and great down the road that'll bring more in your life than you ever can imagine. So guys, I hope this kind of could resonate with you all. I'm about to go eat this burger. Sorry if I'm rambling, guys. Love you. I'll talk to you guys after the burger. Well, I'll talk to you guys during the burger meal. I think I made a mistake. Look at this little thing. No, this ain't a burger. This is a little pussy burger. It's got two things. It's good. Show the fries. Hey, good, just not enough. Those are good. All right. I went to Burger Fi. Says Goose can't see, so I drove back home so we can come here. So my rating of Burger Fi is probably a 7.4. The burger's actually really good, it's just too small. And for the price of 11 something, it's Wagyu beef. So the price of it, 
you don't really get much. I, I don't think it's like authentic Wagyu, let's be honest here, but like, it's got like a cool little like stamp. See that? It's good. You give like a seven, seven, four. Tell them they forgot my honey mustard. They forgot the honey mustard and didn't give us any ketchup. So, I would recommend Five Guys over Burger Five. And I'd recommend Five Guys and Burger Five over In N Out because I don't like In N Out. So, I'm going to enjoy this meal and then check in with you guys for snack time. All right, in normal meat fashion, I get the last couple meals in there after the burger and fry. So, what do you expect from my full day of eating? But <laughs> I had two meals after the burger and fry. I'm sorry I didn't get them. Almost 275 grams of chicken with 200, or actually, no, it was 300 grams of chicken with 200 grams of rice. And the last meal was 200 grams of steak with uh, asparagus. So, no carbs in that meal. So, nothing too crazy the last one. But hope you guys enjoy the full day of eating. Guys, huge supplements. Is having a big Easter sale. I believe it's up to 30 or 40% off all the supplements on the website live now. So go to Huge Supplements and make sure you cop a ton of supplements. One of the biggest sales of the year. So make sure you stock up, guys. Send me your orders. I'll follow you back on Instagram. Also use code Gregor for Young LA and Flex for Meals, guys. Who wants to sign up for coaching me? Best team in the game, Team Elevate. You know what to do. Apply, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Much love to y'all. Peace. I was born and when I watched me on the